So let us first open a new file. So you need to click on this icon. So after the screen appears, you need to click on this icon and first we'll save this model as and give a name over here. I'm giving 3 span PSC box girder or MCB and saving it. Then I'm changing the units to kilonewton and meter. So anytime you need modeling, you can change the units. First, we'll define the properties. First, we'll define the material property. Click on material property, add, and over here, we'll select concrete. So first, I'll be defining M50 property for my superstructure. So I'm selecting IS Indian standards. From database, I'm selecting M50. So these are the properties corresponding to M50. Then you can click on this button and minimize it. And when you click on apply, so this gets added. Again, I'll select M40 for the substructure. Then I'll click on apply again. So this property also gets added. So in case if you want to change the properties, you can change the standard to none. These properties will be open for you to, for editing. Then one more property, steel property will be defining for pre-stressing steel. So I'm selecting type of design as steel, then changing the standard to IS standards and then selecting FE540. So name I will change for this property to tendon. And then I'll just minimize this tab and click on OK. So this property also gets added. So we have added these three material properties and then I'll close this. Now we'll be defining time dependent properties corresponding to our superstructural material. So for that, first we'll define three pencil case property. Click on add. So over here, if you see, we need to enter the compressive strength of concrete. So here it will be easy if I change the units to Newton and mm. So I'll just close this window, close this and change uh, change the units to Newton and mm. Then I'll go back to Creep and Shrinkage tab, click on Add. Over here, I'll give the name corresponding to M50 Creep and Shrinkage property as the M50 C and S. And code I'm selecting IRC112, compressive strength for M50 at 28 days as 50 MPa. And notional size, I'm putting a trial notional size of 1000 mm. When I click on show calculation results, so this creep coefficient and shrinkage strain, so these are corresponding to this notional size and these parameters over here. Individually, for all the cross sectional sizes, notional size will be calculated automatically by the software. And you need to click on OK. So this property gets added. Again, defining the second time dependent property, which is the compressive strength. You need to click on compressive strength, click on add. Over here, I'll again, I'll give the name M50, 50 compression. So the code, I'm selecting RC112. Over here, you need to enter the mean strength of concrete. So in RC112, it's given. FCK plus delta F is FCK plus 10. So for M50, it's going to be 50 plus 10, that is 60 MPa. Type of cement, I'm selecting normal cement. When you click on redraw graph, so this is the variation of compressive strength with respect to time. Even the elasticity is going to follow the same kind of curve. When you click on OK, so this property gets added. After this, we're going to link these two time dependent properties with the material property M50. So for that, we'll click on material link. Over here, I'll select M50 creep and shrinkage property, M50 compressive strength property. Materials, I will double click on M50, and then click on add or modify. So this gets linked. I'll scroll down, close this window. Again, when you click on works tab over here from the tree menu, so this shows that this M50 properties are they are already linked to material M50.